Hey guys, Ben the Cave Spider 2 back once again for another mod review. And today we are doing the Weeping Angels mod. Uh, awesome mod. Um, and if you don't know, I'm actually doing a survival series on this mod. So if you want to, you can check it out. Um, it is on my channel. Uh, we are already on episode 2. And yeah, so let's get right into the Weeping Angels mod. So what we got right here are the items and then we'll get right into the mobs. We only have one mob in this, and that's of course the angel. Now, first we have the angel pillow, and the angel pillow is pretty much an item that you'll find on certain structures in this mod. Um, and I will be right back while I try to find this structure. So I will be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, I was thinking about looking for one, but the problem was uh, they're really hard to find, and I have a feeling if I do find one, I won't be able to really find this place ever again. So, yeah, we're not going to look for one, but basically, it'll have these on top of them, and what you can do is, there's a lot, there'll be, like, some stone around here and a ladder, and below in the ladder, there should be a, um, there should be more of these things, or, like, we've been in... Why? Why are you raining? Why is it always raining when I'm doing a mod showcase? This happened last time, too. It is really weird, but okay. Anyway, yeah, these things you can kind of, kind of do whatever you want with them, as you can see. Um, you can make them calm, you can make them angry, as you can see. You can make them in their poses as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. They're kind of like, um, dungeons, I guess, because they have, like, certain items underneath them. Yeah, yeah, that is the angel pillow. So, the next thing we have is an angel's tier, uh, two of them actually, and I'm not sure what they do, as you can see with one of the angel's tiers you can set the time set no matter what, like if you're in survival, I believe, as you can see you can set the time, as you can see if I want it to be dawn it'll change to dawn, if I want it to be noon, it'll turn to noon, if I want it to be sunset it'll do that at midnight, yeah, so, um, that's pretty much that angel tier, and then this one is teleportation, where you right click and you'll teleport to that area as you can see. Um, as you can see, it's actually pretty useful if you want to teleport somewhere like, let's say I want to teleport to the tree. I right click and as you can see, we're at the tree. So that's pretty much the angel tiers. Um, they're rare drops from the weeping angel. And we will show you, I will show you that in a minute. So yeah, the angel tiers. Next one is the arrow. And basically the arrow is not like a normal arrow. I believe... Let's see, let me get a bow out. Here's a bow, you can shoot, whoops. Bow. Ow. Okay. Let's do game mode one, zero. And I believe you can fire this arrow. Don't know what it does, I think. What the heck, where did it go? Where did my thing go? Where did it go? That was weird. Um, let's try hitting a, a mob with it. See what happens. Um, let's try hitting a mob with it. Uh, I don't know what it does. Hold on. What do you do, Mr. Erlo? It's not really doing anything. Oh, that poor little piggy. Maybe it's just like a one-shot arrow thing. Hang on. Don't commit suicide yet, pig. What the heck? That's a really useless arrow. If it kind of just fires down. Okay, I guess this arrow is a bit buggy. So yeah, that's a little bit of a bug in this mod. So, yeah, I don't know what the problem is with the arrow, but whatever. So let's go to the next item, which are the lamb chops. Basically, the lamb chops are things you can get from sheep. They will drop these occasionally. 
Um, of course, they'll drop lamb chop rods. Uh, you can get zero to three of them, I believe. And then, of course, the lamb chop is the cooked version. So, let's see how much these things do. So, okay, as you can see, I'm already hungry. The raw does exactly one. Actually, I'm not really sure about that, though. So, let's just kind of keep... Let's just run around. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Okay, let's see how much the lamb chop does. Ooh, it does a good three and a half. Um, so that is a really good um, food source there. So that was the lamb chops. You can get those from sheep. And next we have, of course, the angel. The terrifying mob that everyone's concerned about. Alright, this guy will spawn at Y50. Actually, well, technically girl. I mean, I guess she's a girl. Um, this thing will sp I'm, I'm just going to call it a thing. This thing will spawn at Y50, I believe. Um, usually in mine shafts, so around. Usually you'll find them in mine shafts. That's where I usually find them. Um, so basically, we're not gonna look for one. So basically, yeah, they'll spawn about Y50 or lower, or no, Y50 or higher. I'm not sure. I think. Well, usually you'll find them in the ground, pretty much. That's all I can say. In the configs, you can actually change it to like if you wanted to spawn above ground or something. But basically, yeah, Leaping Angel. So, of course, Leaping Angel is terrifying as all heck. Um, here she, here it is. And as you can see, it's just a statue. You know, just a plain old statue. Um, and you're probably asking, this is kind of annoying. Um, what, what's so scary about this? Well, if you follow the Doctor Who series, um, basically, if you not look, if you're not looking at it, okay, this is really kind of useless in the tall grass. Basically, if you're not looking at it, it will try to attack you. As you can see. And sadly, you cannot hurt them with just a punch. In order to hurt them, you have to use a diamond pick to kill them, as you can see. And they'll occasionally drop cobblestone, um, and occasionally the angel pillow. So, let's get another weeping angel. Just to show you what else it can do. Now, pretty much, um... This is not the only thing you can do. They can also teleport you if you get hit by them. And they actually do a number on you as well. I think at least six hearts, which is still, which is a lot of hearts. So essentially two hits by this thing, you're dead. Um, uh, so they will do about six hearts on you, and if they hit you, they have an option. They have a chance of teleporting you at least 500 blocks away. And that is a lot of blocks. So, yeah, these things are pretty scary. You want to stay the heck away from them. So, yeah, they give you a good amount of experience, though. So, yeah, guys, that was the Weeping Angel Mod in a nutshell. If you liked the video, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. See ya.